Welcome to Deutsch Math. Today, I thought I would show you a shortcut to do factoring. Now, uh, factoring becomes very inconvenient when the coefficient for the leading term is no longer one. So this quick method, well, what I want to do is I'm going to assume you know how to factor coefficient of one, and then we'll trick the system. Okay, so let's have you observe what I do over here. So we're going to artificially actually make this one coefficient of one by factoring. I always tell my student, draw a block here. We're going to factor an artificial one that's easier to factor than it will come out of the box. The artificial one I want you to factor is this one. You copy the first term, pretend the term is actually one, and copy the midterm, and then you're going to copy five times 80. So whatever the coefficient is, you're going to multiply those coefficients together. And multiply over here and put it over here. So in our case, it's five times eight, which is 40, okay? And then from here, you're gonna factor normally, how you normally factor coefficient of one. So for our case, uh, 40, um, five, uh, 40, so five, five and eight will give you minus 13. So I have D minus five and D minus eight. Okay, if you need to check this on the side, you can push the pause button and do the foil, make sure you got this thing back. Okay, now once we're out of this box, here's what I want you to do, this is how we trick the system. Okay, instead of five, once you go from here into the box, and now you're gonna come out of the box, so the original one is actually equal to, here's what I want you to do, replace the D with a factor of five back in there, minus five, Okay, everything is replaced by five instead of D. So you're gonna cross this one out, cross this one out, and you're gonna put a five D back, okay? Minus eight. Now, since you noticed that five D times five D, that's 25 D, since we only had five D before, we're gonna divide by five. From here, we're just gonna simplify. So here, we're gonna have D minus one, now notice if I pull the five out of this one and the five gets canceled, then I no longer have five. Uh, five doesn't go into this one anymore. So this one is left out by itself. Okay, so here's the answer. All right, let's try one more time on this side. We're gonna draw into a box. Now this box is actually pretty important. And what you really wanna do is make sure when you come out of the box, you put the 6D, 6X in this case back. Uh, that's the reason I ask my student to draw the box to um, have one more step to slow them down a little bit uh, in case they make mistakes. So here in the box, we're gonna be factoring of X plus 11X plus three times six. I'm gonna draw this little, looks like it's fishing, okay? Like I'm going to hook, I'm going to hook on this number. I'm going to multiply this one. So it's going to be 18. Three times six is 18. This one is a relatively one easy to fact, fact, factor inside the box. So I have x plus two, uh, two and nine, x plus nine. And that gives me the factor of 18. Once again, if you want to convince yourself, uh, push the pause button and do the foil, you can multiply it out and you'll see you actually get this one back. Okay. All right. Now we're coming out of the box. I'm going to change the color to remind you. Now we're going back over here. This old one is equal to one. I'm going to substitute my 6x back. Okay. Plus two. Rest of them doesn't change. And then I have 6x. Plus nine over here. Six times six is 36, so I'm gonna have to divide by six, okay? Now this one I'll go over a little bit because six is the interesting number. From the first two, I can only put a two out, okay? So it becomes three X plus one. So each term give a two out. And then there's our multiplication table, right? And from the second one, I can pull a three out. Okay, it's two X plus three. Now, using this method, it's always true. And the reason that you don't want to divide a six for just one single term is that we want to keep that coefficient to be a whole number. Okay, we don't want a fractions here. Okay, here's a six. Six is really two times three. So two goes away over here, and three goes away here. We're left with one. 
okay, this two is six is breaking down. So, so the final answer is three x plus one times two x plus three. All right. Have a confident day. <laughs>